So I have a very strong feeling that I won't be seeing much of my roommate anymore. Now that he's chosen to remove his dog from the premises, something I neither asked nor expected him to do, by the way, you know. I sent him an email. Basically it said, um, I think it says something, you're one of the really found genuine nice people. And I will never f forget everything you so selflessly did for both me and Omar. And then I had a star above everything, including right now. What's wrong? What's wrong? Including right now when, for the sake of me and my dog, you removed your dog from his home. Something I neither ever... <coughs> Expected nor wanted you to do. What's wrong, Omar? Last thing I need is for him to be barking like that or whatnot, because, you know, I definitely f felt safer when that dog was here. I can't protect me worth a shit, you know. Park and stuff. Mama doesn't want to be scared. She can be here, he can be here with people next door, he can be here in the wind outside, anything. Anyway, as I was saying, I doubt I'm going to be seeing much of my roommate anymore. He's not working. He'll probably just be spending all his time with his girlfriend. And that's understandable.
see proof that I don't want to live alone. It's like, right now I'm afraid. A little bit. Oh, that's not the same thing as living in a house alone. It's an apartment building and there's people, I mean, you can even hear them talking sometimes. And I'm sure when I've gotten agitated on the talking with Cheryl and my mom, they may have heard me, I don't know. Depends. Your guess is as good as mine. My Omar just did what he did, but he witnessed it. Now, he used to do that often when he'd hear bones like moving around or slinking around or whatnot. But why he just did it now, who knows? Crazy. Um, I fasted all day today. My, my water thing. I had my colon cleansed three times. And I fasted. my roommate's dog. Maybe I should tell him to bring him back. Tell him I'm afraid to be here by myself. So I never intended for him to, to remove him. I did, not like he bit anybody. I just was going to be careful. I was going to, you know, when I was not around, keep him or you know, separate them separated and just be careful, but I didn't expect him to just remove the dog from his home, you know. Actually, with the dog gone, it makes me want to get out of here even faster. so soon because I just did it last Sunday. My water fast with a little bit of apple cider vinegar thrown in. And then I have my colon cleanse too. So since that's not liquid, it's technically not a completely liquid fast, but it's close enough because I also had my two, my two teaspoons of natural vitality calm magnesium supplement, you know. Um, when I took my vitamin, you know, but it's still considered a water fast. Um, and the reason that I did that today so soon after my last one, because, um, well, I got, as you know, I got drunk on Monday, and I drank a lot, 
and I also ate a lot, and, and, and during the week, even though I wasn't drinking, I was still eating, and my, I just, I needed to nip it in the bud. I was eating a little too much, and even my pants were, you know, not getting tight, but, you know, feeling a little snooker, and I just needed to nip it in the bud. In fact, I fasted all day today, and I can still say today because it's not midnight yet. Um, I'm not going to take off. I didn't take off today, and I'm not going to take off. Um, the next two days, I'm really going to cool it with, with my eating. And I don't, I'm not even going to weigh myself tomorrow. I didn't weigh myself ahead of time. I didn't want to know what I weighed. I can see my, if my belly's grown bigger. I can feel my pants are a little tight. Um, And it'll be rectified by Monday. One day of, of water fasting and two days of really restricting myself. Discipline, you know, and really, um, it'll be taking, it'll be, you know, rectified by Monday, I'm sure. I'm gonna miss having that dog around. I feel it just feels empty, and I look at his pen, and you know, it's I might tell him. I tell him, you know, I don't want to be in a two-story place by myself. I know he's going to be spending all his time with his girlfriend. When I leave, I'll keep them separated. truth. I want you to bring bones back because I'm afraid to be here by myself.
roommate already knows I'm a big baby, so you know. You would just know I didn't like that. And almost barking out or whatnot. You can do that in the middle of the night, I'll be scared. He's done it before, but he did it because he heard it, you know. I look forward to waking up and eating. Cause I said I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be very restrictive when I eat. I should have been having more quinoa all along. Charlotte doesn't eat meat, and I asked her, "How do you get your protein?" She's like, "I eat a lot of quinoa." I I I, I think probably I know. I think I had known, like in the back of my head, that chemo was high in protein. I'm sure Joe had told me or I'd read about it or something. And then I just forgot, because it, it takes effort to make. It's like rice takes effort to make, but, but even brown rice only has like two grams of protein, you know, per serving, and chemo has six, so that's a big deal. Um, I need to start making my quinoa. But tomorrow when I wake up, I'm gonna have my shake. That'll be a real good thing to have, you know, immediately after I know I finished fasting. And, you know, it'll still be liquid and but we heard all my do just now and before I don't like that. Especially if he decides to do it in the middle of the night after I'm about and wake me up from some sleep. It scares me. Rather I'm not do it, he can't protect me from anything, you know. I'd rather not be scared. I know he wishes he could. He's just a little thing though.
can't protect anybody from anything. So there's your update on my situation. I watched uh, Blue Jasmine with Kate Blanchett. Extremely depressing movie. Like, well, if you're depressed, why do you want to watch a depressing movie? See, that's the million dollar question. And here's your answer, because it was free. He has HBO on demand and stars on demand. We, you, you know, he, we're... And that was something I was going to rent from Redbox, so I got to watch it for free. But it definitely, and I was interested, just curious about it, you know. Redbox reviews, I said, you know, very depressing. It definitely wasn't a bad movie. It was well acted and whatnot. I mean, it, it, but it beyond, you know, it would undoubtedly, it was definitely, you know, it was depressing. You know, so. mm. I need to watch my Why We Love Cats and Dogs video that I never watched. I had purchased to watch with him, and then we never watched it, and then he got a girlfriend, and now he'll never be around to watch it. Like I told you, my mom, mom and I caught the tail end of its PBS. I bought it for fifteen dollars, but we had caught, we had, we, she and I had caught the tail end of it. And the tail end of it was about this dog that was gonna, you know, die of cancer. So that is depressing. But his owners left him so much, you know. So it's still meant to be uplifting in its own way. looked through all the stars movies and all the HBO movies and I saw a couple that I might be interested in watching but nothing nothing major In the heat, here I saw that in the movies. So.
so I'm gonna go to sleep early, early for me, it's only midnight, um, hopefully sleep straight through, hopefully he won't hear a noise and make noise, you know? Nice to sleep straight through. Oh, remember I was telling you when I would fall back to sleep and I was having horrible nightmares. Um, I could go to bed at 3 in the morning, wake up at 7, and go back to bed at like 10 to 1 or something like that. Um, I was, I, something I clicked on, somebody was talking about night or something and, and I don't know how I wound up clicking on it, but person was saying that the reason they, they were having nightmares is because of, um, of, they were taking their vitamins, their multivitamin, you know, they were having nightmares at night, like before they went to bed or something, and what, there was something like, you're not supposed to take vitamins before you go to bed, because apparently B vitamins can really mess with your brain transmitters, you, you know. And I'm like, ooh, that might be where those nightmares were coming from, the vivid ones, because I wouldn't take my vitamins before I went back to bed during the day. And I wasn't just taking a multivitamin, I was taking mega food also, just separate B vitamin tablets. Um, that could be where the funky dreams were coming from. Not necessarily, but, you know, I don't know. I still intend to see the other woman and and get tipsy, you know, beforehand. But it won't be this weekend. This weekend I'm doing a mini cleanse. No, not just. I mean, I'm just my own version, but I'm um that's what I'm doing. I succeeded in fasting all day today. It's just water, a little bit of apple cider vinegar thrown in for good measure. And the next couple days I'm gonna really cool it. So if I'm hungry, I'll drink a lot of water, I'll have some green tea, a little regular tea with my liquid stevia or whatever. That's what the plan is. I'm not gonna step on the scale to Monday morning. Whatever I weigh is what I weigh because my weight may have started off higher than even I realized. You know, I have a feeling that it did. So whatever it is Monday morning is what it is, right?